hi guys thank you for supporting my channel up till now and the channel has subscribed uh, has more than 100 subscribers now and has been renamed as android galaxy development and will be named as android galaxy development further uh, so welcome to android galaxy development and today i'm going to show how to install the new rom htc sense 4.0 on your samsung galaxy y GTS 5360. First of all, download all the files given in the description. And uh, first of all, uh, keep your uh, battery charge more than 80% and power of your device. Now let's go to the procedure. Power of the device. The ROM is based on the HTC Sense. And it's a good ROM. And I will show a quick review of it. First now, come to your clockwork mode by pressing your power button, volume up button and home button simultaneously. As you see the logo of Samsung Galaxy Y, you can leave the buttons. Now you are on the Android system recovery, which is recovery mode and you can see the touch is disabled over here. You can uh, scroll down by volume down button and scroll up with the volume up button and you can select by the home button and you can come back with your uh, with the sense of the phone that is active and now you have to do is uh, apply update from SD card and select the cwm.zip the download links are given in the description as you come in the clockwork mode you are right now on the clockwork mode the situation is same like this the touch is disabled you have to scroll up and down with volume up and down and home button with the selections now wipe data reset follow the procedure correctly uh, to find success after the installation wipe cache partition and now uh, select the fifth option install zip from SD card select the first one choose zip from SD card Locate uh, your ROM. Uh, the ROM should be outside uh, the SD card only. Please do not put it in any any folder so that it will so that put it outside so that it will be easy to find it. Here it is. The ROM is since 4.0. Dot zip. Select it and select yes. Install since. This may take a little time. So it's morning system and data. The installation process uh, starts a little bit fast over here, but uh, it takes a little time. Please do not panic with the procedure or please do not remove your battery out. First installation may take time. It's installing the update. The process is going on. Toolbox and link setting permissions. Sal are a part of the room. That's all. You will get a message message on down over here. Installation install from SD card complete. Now come back with your sense of the whole of the phone, and uh, now go to advance. And reboot the recovery. Reboot recovery means it will be coming again back to the recovery mode. Now over here, uh, you scroll down by volume down button and select wipe data reset, factory reset. Select yes. Now wipe cache partition. And now select the first option reboot system now. It will be for the phone will get rebooted into a new ROM. There is no such uh, special. There is no special uh, recommendations for this. You can use any CWM or anything. The phone will get rebooted. If you see Samsung Galaxy Y logo more than 10 to 15 seconds. I mean of uh, 10 to 15 minutes 
just press your power button for five seconds as a black screen appears you can leave the button so that it would not get boot loop here we can see the ROM is got a new boot animation it's of beats audio Mm, as you can see the boot loop has not made any problem in this phone right now if you follow the procedures correctly there will be no problem further as you can see the boot animation has been finished and as it is a first loading uh, so it's taking a little bit time so it's a good ROM and I will be showing a quick review of this ROM. It will take a little time to load the page, home page, as it is the first loading. It is quite smooth and has got an HTC user interface. Please be patient as the home page will load quicker. getting loaded it may take a time yeah it's uh, vibrated it means it's just going to be yeah here you can see uh, the ROM has been loaded successfully click on the Android robot skip the steps for now skip the steps Now come back. The language is been another. It doesn't matter, you can change the as it is a first port. It may take it will be a bit lazy. You can see it's have it has got HTC user interface. Look at this. Uh, it's Google sign in. Just uh, keep it right now. Yeah, you can see it has got a very good user interface. Oh, sorry, it's down. Yeah, you can see uh, it is quite good ROM and has got good widgets of uh, the same as like it was in uh, STC Explorer or it's all, it's the, all the HTC devices mm. there are some widgets since 4.0 widgets down here or you can uh, widgets more types of widgets like audio fix music widgets picture frame since 4 o'clock you can see it's quite good ROM and has not got any kinds of bugs if you get any types of bugs you just comment down and change the language over here over here and select the language you can see it's a quite good ROM and has got brightness at the top brightness and uh, the widgets are quite down it's quite good uh, ROM you can uh, has a shortcut over here for music applications and uh, the version has not changed it may not change because it is just uh, upon the another type of HTC sense user interface and you can see uh, there are types of uh, setting layout that is i mode ics mode paranoid tab mode uh, mm, default mode see ics mode look at this it's quite good it has got edt tweaks you can mm, status bar modifications that's called uh, i can round it over here and you can see you can change as a as you like and it's a quite good ROM try it out if you have any problem please do comment on my video I will do help you guys and please like the video and please do subscribe to the channel thank you